What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 14 Team of the Week prediction guys. Welcome back, today we're predicting the Team of the Week number 18, which will be released at the same time as the Team of the Year. I believe the Team of the Year defenders were released yesterday on the making of the video, Monday the 13th of January. And um, got Manuel, uh, sorry, Neuer in goal, uh, Danny Alves, Thiago Silva, Sergio Ramos and Philip Lahm. Uh, which you can currently get at the moment. I believe then the rest of the players are already told as well, but I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Um, but uh, those players are going to be coming out as well as this week's Team of the Week number 18. So let's get straight into the predictions. And we're going to start off with some subs. Obviously, the Bundesliga still hasn't started up, nor has the Holland League. And... Um, not, I don't think the MLS either or the Brazilian League. So uh, we've got the uh, Spanish Leagues, the Italian Leagues, uh, BPL and the French Leagues to choose from. And uh, this weekend's football, a bit mixed from different leagues. Some very, very good, um, outstanding goal line. Uh, well, the goals, the difference between the teams were absolutely outstanding. But some goals were just a fairly even game. So uh, there wasn't any real... There's some standout performances and some really hard performances. I had to try and pick out... Um, two players to go and pick the squad, but hopefully this is my team of the week and uh, let's get straight into the subs So the first player we're gonna have here in the subs goalkeeper goal goalkeeper West Ham keeper Adria And um, this guy plays here in, in reserve for Jasker Linen and uh, he's didn't have a, such a good spell I believe against the Arsenal game. I think he really should have saved one of those goals, especially the first one um, But uh, this guy here picked up seven saves as well as a clean sheet in West Ham's 2-0 win over Cardiff a crucial victory for West Ham there and uh, this guy was the one who kept most of the um, Cardiff of shots out of the back of the net, so fair play to him. Moving on to the next play, we've got Johnson, the left back from Sheffield Wednesday, I do believe. This player here, this guy picked up a goal and an assist, as well as a clean sheet in Sheffield Wednesday's 6 0 domination over Leeds. Not too sure what's happening at Leeds at the moment. There's a number of bad school lines lately, and I'm waiting for a sack in there to come about. Moving on to the next play, we've got a player called Laporte, plays for Atletico Bilbao, had again another fantastic performance. Beating, I'm not too sure of the team off the top of my head, beating a team 6 1. And Laporte here picking up a goal as well as a clean sheet. Um, and it's doing a fairly decent business at the back, keeping that clean sheet there. Moving on to another player in the Spanish league, Riccio. Plays for Granada here. And Granada, another fairly solid game. This guy picked up two goals from the midfield and, and just dominated the midfield. And I believe it was a 4 0 win. So uh, you could argue he got the clean sheet as well. Moving on to another midfield, we've got a player called Frecklington. John Lee, sorry, Ree Flecklington, the player you just saw pop up on the screen. Hopefully, this is not going to lag out now because I've just done that. Um, but uh, plays for Rother... Right, there you go. Plays for Rotherham in, I believe it is the N Power League 1? Not too sure, yeah. Um, well, F Football League 1, sorry. And uh, this guy picked up two goals, and I believe he also got an assist off the top of my head. I'm not too sure. I didn't watch all the highlights of that game. But uh, I believe the game ended up 4-1, maybe. I'm not too sure. But uh, this guy had a fairly solid performance. Moving on to the next play, we've got a player called Dossivo. Uh, plays in the French League, I do believe, for... Um, oh, not that there. Hold on. There you go. Plays for French League squad, this player here. And uh, he picked up two goals from a centre attack in mid instead of playing as a right mid. Uh, plays for Valencia in the French League one. Uh, picking up two goals and um, in their 3-2 win. I'm not sure off the top of my head. And picked up the Man of the Match award as well. So very, very solid performance by him. Moving on to the final player on the substance, we have David Nugent. Um, the I believe it is the Leicester striker of this there you go. Um, plays the Leicester striker. This guy picked up two goals and two assists, as well as the Man of the Match award. Um, they did play at Derby County, I believe, on Friday night. And uh, this guy scored quite two goals, two assists, Man of the Match. Very, very good, solid performance in, I believe, it's a 4 1 win. So uh, he got the majority of the. Um, he, he set up all the goals there, shall I say, at least. All right, let's move on to the starting 11 here. We're going to be playing a different formation. These couple of weeks, we've been changing up the formation a bit. 4 3 3, the second version with the CDM. And we're going to start off with in goal, and that player is going to be this player here, Ospina, another player in the French League. He's already picked up an in form, but uh, this week he had another very, very good performance indeed. And sorry guys, foot ahead has been a bit laggy today on doing this video. But um, he's already got an in form, as you can see there, but he picked up around four saves, as well as a penalty save and clean sheet in um, Nice's 0-0 draw. I'm not too sure if the squad off the top of my head, but it's still fantastic performance by him. I believe two penalties were missed in that whole game there. Moving on to the right back here, we have Maggio, the Napoli right mid, right back, whatever you want to call it. He played right back in the game against um, 
Verona, I think it is, uh, picking up an assist as well as a clean sheet and man of the match in their game in Napoli's 3-0 win there. Moving on to the centre-back, the first we're going to have here is Pepe, the Real Madrid centre-back, picking up a goal as well as a clean sheet in Real Madrid's 1-0 win over Espanyol. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo missing quite a few chances that game. Um, thank God they weren't doing the Ballon d'Or on that game because uh, he probably wouldn't have got it and missed quite a few open goals. Um, but uh, still... It wasn't like a bad performance by him, but um, wasn't the best. But Pepe stood up, got the header from, I believe it's a free kick, and um, got the clean sheet as well. So very, very good performance by him. Not too sure if him or Sergio Ramos got the man of the match, but it's between one of the centre-backs there. Moving on to the next centre-back, we've got another player who's already got an in-form. That is Garay. Plays for Benfica at the back, who I believe has just released Matic to Chelsea again. Uh, as you can see, he's already got an in-form card, and he picked up a goal as well as a clean sheet in Benfica's 2-0 win over Porto, obviously the ex champ, well the champions of that league last year, and um, still the top of that Liga um, Liga Portuguesa table. Three teams all have the same points, all have the same win and loss record. So that victory is vital for Benfica, and this guy made it so. Um, very, very good, solid performance at the back. Moving on to the final player in the defence, Kolarov, the left-back here. Plays for Manchester City. This guy picked up a, um, a clean sheet as well as an assist in Man City's 2-0 win. Um, very, very bad refing, I'm going to say. Um, that game could have been a lot tighter. Newcastle did an outstanding performance. I believe Kolarov also picked up the man of the match award at the back. Um, um, but um, I was kind of annoyed because obviously um, I think anyone who I'm not like a supporter of Man City, but uh, seeing Newcastle, we're probably not the best rated team. Like, well, they're a good team, but uh, obviously not the ones to be challenging the top people. Put very, very good performance, and I really should have had it one-one. And that game could have changed whatever way. Um, unfortunately, um, some stupidity, stupidity was going on. I understand why he gave it, disallowed the goal, but um, I think it was just kind of um, completely irrelevant um, in the fact that I don't think Joe Hart was even going to get there, even if the player wasn't there. Um, so um, I would be fairly frustrated if I was Tiote, but uh, we just got to carry on playing with the goal and uh, see if you can get the win. But unfortunately, they didn't. But we're going to be moving on to the midfield here. First player out on the right, we have Lichtsteiner, the Ventus right mid. Obviously, they play three at the back. Lichtsteiner, normally known as a right back, so he kind of is good in that role playing out on the right. Um, for Juventus, but uh, this guy had a very, very good performance, picking up a goal and two assists and man of the match in, I believe, Juventus's 4-0 win, maybe, I'm not too sure off the top of my head, um, but uh, still very, very good performance by Indeed. Moving on to the CDM, we have Gareth Barry, the Everton English player, CDM. And uh, this guy, not the fastest player, as you can see there, but a uh, very, very good workhorse in the middle. Picking up a goal, an outstanding goal. At, well, was it? I think it was the one. I think it was a very, very good goal indeed um, for Everton. And uh, still, very good goal. And I believe he got a Man of the Match award as also. You could argue he got the clean sheet playing as a CDM as well. Moving on to the next and final midfielder, we're going to have this player here, which is going to be Wiltshire, another BPL player. Plays for Arsenal, and uh, Arsenal played last night, Monday night, against Aston Vera. Very, very tight game indeed. Um, if Aston Vera were a bit more solid straight after, I believe, Wiltshire's goal, um, they probably could have gone out and got the draw. Obviously, the game finished 2-1. Uh, Wiltshire picking up a goal and assist and man of the match in the game. Still very, very good, solid performance by Wiltshire there. Moving on to the attackers of the squad, the right wing, we're going to have Adam Johnson, the Sunderland winger. This guy played fantastically well, picking up three goals as well as an assist in, I believe it is Sunderland's 4-1 win over Fulham. Fantastic performance by Sunderland. They need those three points to try and get out that relegation zone. And a fantastic performance by Adam Johnson. I'll definitely see him in that team of the week tomorrow. Moving on to the left mid, we've got a player called Berardi. Uh, plays for Sassuolo, I think it is, in the Serie A. And this guy's been an absolute exceptional player this year, season. Um, very, very young player as well. I believe he's on loan from Juventus. Uh, but uh, Sassuna came up against a very tough game of AC Milan. And um, AC Milan obviously not doing too well, but they've got some absolute quality players. And uh, Berardi uh, goes and picks up four goals in that game. to going to end up winning 4-3 against AC Milan. A fantastic performance by him. And uh, we're going to definitely see him picking up the man of the match as well. And moving on to the final player of the team, the striker. We've got Dos Santos, the Villarreal. Uh, I think, no, Valen no, is it Villarreal? I think it's Villarreal. Um, hold on. Um, but uh, whatever. I think it's Villarreal. But uh, plays up front. He picked up two goals and two assists as well as the man of the match. In I think it's Villarreal's 5-1 win um, at, on Monday night, actually. So uh, you never know. I'm guessing they're going to put Monday night players in. But uh, you never know what EA are going to do. But uh, let's quickly swap over to this screen here where you can see it in the players in their in-form. 
Obviously, I just increased their overall rating by what I think they should end up gaining if they were to get an inform. Um, and um, I haven't changed any of their in-game stats you can see on the subs and all the other players. But uh, obviously, let's have a quick rundown through the team. Barardi here, this guy looks like fantastic. Um, those stats, if his pace was any higher, he'd be an absolutely fantastic card. Um, Adam Johnson, definitely going to get an inform card, so that should be fairly interesting. Dos Santos, I've heard he's an absolute fantastic striker. And... Um, I, I definitely want to try out his second in form if he gets one. Uh, Lick Shiner is just going to be that normal player out on the right. I'm not too sure if he's going to be any decent. He's got very defensive stats there, as you can see there. Wiltshire, you know about him in the middle. Fairly solid player. Gareth Barry, just going to be even more solid at holding. Um, Maggio... Probably, I'm not too sure. As you can see, he's a very, very well-rounded player. So, probably works better as a right-back. And shame it wasn't a left-back in the set it out. That would be a lot better. But uh, you just have to work with what you've got there. Kolarov, not going to be used too much. The pace is just way too low. Garay and Pepe, two fantastically solid players. Garay, a bit slower. But Pepe, decent amount of pace and decent ratings across the board. And Ospina in goal, I've heard he's a fairly solid keeper as well. And uh, nothing much else to say about the subs bench. But guys, that is the squad there. If I've missed any players, remember to put that in the comments. Put the reasons why. I enjoyed reading the comments and seeing why. If I've missed any players, if I've missed any obvious players. And um, it's always nice to interact with you guys. Also, if you like, so mimic the like button. And I'm sorry for not putting up a team of the year protection. I was going to and then I realized it was Monday before I could even do it So uh, it was way too late and um, I just didn't have enough time to do it So I'm sorry about that guys, but uh, you guys already seen there's dozens of them on YouTube and stuff like that So you probably already had a feel um, for the plays you're going to get but guys if you like so make the like button, subscribe, stay tuned to the series and the upcoming episodes guys This has been Chris, tune in next time, adios